Well, the Kansas wind is going to be back with us again tomorrow. Not overwhelmingly popular, but we know we're going to have to deal with it from time to time. And like today, wind speeds of 20 to 30 on the horizon for the middle of the week. That will drop quite a bit for Thursday, only to start picking back up again come Friday. Only by the end of this week, the wind is going to be coming from the south. That's what's going to give us a little bit of a boost in the afternoon highs. Down to 36 degrees overnight. We will be under a clear sky as the winds scale back a bit in the overnight. But again, and they're strong out of the northwest for Wednesday afternoon, looking at a high of around 61. This is a snapshot out of your Wednesday forecast. 4 o'clock, we've got northwest winds gusting 30 to 35 for most of central and eastern Kansas. It will not be as windy for the west, but you're still going to have a bit of a breeze coming up for the afternoon. Kind of a chilly start to the day. Most of us waking up to 30 degree weather with just a couple of clouds here and there. As we move through Wednesday afternoon, a lot of sunshine, a stiff northwest breeze, but it should be just a little warmer than what most of us had today. And looking ahead to Thursday, good travel weather, high pressure coming in. That will knock the Kansas wind down. No chance for any rain as we go through the second half of this week. But the 70 degree temperatures start to show up on the map during the second half 72 in Goodland 64 in Great Bend will be looking at 65 in Salina and most of us will be at or just above 70 degrees coming up on Friday starting to feel a little bit more like springtime as we approach the end of this week. Here's an update on what's going to happen as we move toward the week and we've got this big low pressure system coming through the west a lot of rain a lot of snow in the higher elevations as this system winds its way toward Kansas we will start to see the Gulf of Mexico humidity coming right back through Oklahoma into parts of Kansas, and this will help to fuel a chance of storms coming up Saturday evening. Right now, the timing looks like it will be after 4 or 5 o'clock at the earliest, and the chance of severe storms would be for central and south central Kansas as it looks right now. Of course, with four days to go, we know the map is probably going to change a little bit as we get closer in time. But future track is showing six o'clock Saturday evening for storms to get going across central Kansas, and those are going to move to the northeast. They'll probably move fairly quickly, which might limit the overall amounts of rain that we're going to get. And after midnight Saturday night, the storm chance is pushing away from our area. Heavier rainfall not expected with this particular setup. There is that potential of some severe storms coming up Saturday evening. And also we are concerned about some high wind gusts, maybe 50 to 60 away from the thunderstorms this weekend. That would mostly focus over western Kansas coming up Saturday afternoon. An update on the solar eclipse, whether or not we'll be able to see it. If you're traveling south, you're going to run into some high clouds, but probably not show stopping. And if you're headed east towards St. Louis, odds are a little bit more favorable that you'll have a clear sky there. If you're staying here in Kansas, we think some high clouds, but not completely blocking our view of the event. From Hayes, blue sky, it's 63 degrees, north wind to 25. We've also got that blue sky in Hutchinson where the temperature is 62. And overnight, most of us drop into the 30s, but it's sub-freezing in far western Kansas. 35 in Great Bend, 36 for Wichita. The west tomorrow, a little warmer than today, not by a significant amount. 65 in Scott City, 66 in Dodge. It will be sunny and also not quite as windy tomorrow. 58 for Concordia, 63 in Winfield with sunshine, gusty northwest winds. That's what we'll see in Wichita as we go back above 60 tomorrow. 60 for Newton, 60 in Kingman. Looks like a sunny forecast and sunshine that's what we're going to have for Thursday and Friday. 70s are back on Saturday ahead of that evening and overnight storm chance. Then more rain is coming next week. We think starting Tuesday, maybe lasting all the way through Thursday. Fingers crossed we desperately.